Hello everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching and we are once again barefaced and in a bathrobe because apparently this is when I declutter. <laughs> now, I, once again, have been watching declutter videos. If you've been on this channel for at least a month, you see that I am going through a purge of my stuff. What I say is I'm refining my collection and it seems to me when I wake up in the morning, I just want to get rid of some things. So I am surprised at how well and how much stuff I'm actually getting rid of, but I'm so pleased because I look at my drawers now and I am so happy. Um, so we're gonna go through this basket again. Look how much fuller it looks. And I'm going to share with you what I'm gonna declutter for my collection. So let's get started. The first thing that I've been trying to find but haven't found a good one of yet is a no more natural deodorant. Uh, for the summer, I wear the Secret Clinical Strength uh, deodorant, and I love it. I don't sweat. I don't smell. It lasts all day, but I do want to start going more natural. Um, so I tried this one, and as you can see, that price sticker is right over what it's supposed to be. But I know this is Nubian Heritage, the brand. And... It's a deodorant, but it's not an antiperspirant. And I've got it in the flavor Indian Hemp and Haitian um, Vintner. It just smells good. It smells refreshing and light and just like a hint of citrus in there. Um, just the thing is, is that it doesn't stop me from sweating. And what I found is when this mixes with my sweat, my armpits stick. Like... I can feel my armpits rubbing together as I'm like walking or something. And it's it's not a pleasant feeling. I don't want to feel that, so I am getting rid of that one. This is something that I found in my collection when I was moving. I'm like, oh, I should pan this. And then I thought about it. I've had this since high school. I've already had my 10-year high school reunion. So I do not want to use this. <laughs> But I used to sell Mark by Avon. It's an Avon teen brand, although anybody can use it, uh, in high school. <laughs> and so I still had this. This is their Moisture Clear Oil-Free Hydrator for Misbehaving Skin. And I, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this. I probably used, it says four ounces on it. I feel like I've maybe used a fourth of this. But I was using it every day in high school, so I, I mean, that thing just lasted forever. I went through skincare a lot this week. Uh, I also am going to throw out the Olay Professional Pro X Anti-Aging Age Repair Lotion with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I know the SPF has gone in here. I've had this for a year and a half, almost two years probably, and there's no way the SPF is still in here, and that to me means this is kind of pointless as a sun lotion. Um, I normally use SPF in my day lotions if I shower in the morning, and I'm just never going to use that since the SPF is gone. So that can just just hit the trash. Um, okay, so other skincare. I also have, do I have anything else here? Okay. I also have this Shiseido Ultimate Power Infusing Concentrate. Now, I think this is a good product. I don't think I'm old enough yet for this product, or my skin doesn't need this product yet, I guess I should say, because it doesn't really matter how old you are. It's how your skin reacts to it. And, you know, this... This product, so let me just read. It says, apply in the morning and evening after cleansing and balancing the skin. I use this like a serum before I put on moisturizer, and I just didn't see anything special. And Shiseido is such an expensive brand that I know it's really good for skin that's aging. But this to me just wasn't what I was looking for at the moment. Um, maybe I'll come back to this maybe another 10 years from now and I'm going to love it, but right now it's just nothing, nothing too special. I think that's all my skincare. Okay, then I went through some eyeshadows. You saw in my last declutter kind of some of the eyeshadow palettes that I won't be using, but I, did, I took a look at my eyeshadow singles, and I just pulled out a few because I know I'm not going to be using those either. One is this ColourPop. This is in the shade Deluxe. That's what the shade looks like. You can see that I've used this maybe one time to swatch. Like, I, the pattern is still there. It's a beautiful um, deep mid-tone brown with gold shimmer in it. And I'm, I'm not drawing for things like this. 
It's just, I'm just not into it, so that's okay. The other thing I have is this Urban Decay eyeshadow in Mushroom. This is just, I'm sure you've seen Mushroom. It's in the Naked 2 palette. It's just this gray shimmer, or excuse me, satin. It's beautiful. I mean, like, it. it's so pigmented. I'm sure, I am 90% sure this came um, in a Sephora Favorites kit. But I have that shade in other palettes, and while it's absolutely beautiful, I know myself, and I know I'm never going to reach for it. So that's fine with me to pass that along. Um, I'm sure I got my money out of those favorite kits. I always do, even if they include a full size like that. I just know I'm not going to use it. This mascara, this pure big look mascara with argan oil, this did not work for me. I applied it twice, and it just didn't give me quote-unquote, a big look. It's one of these plastic bristle wands, and it had a nice formula of mascara. It was a little bit wetter, um, but with those small bristles, it just didn't give me clumps. I like, I like a look of a little clump on my lash. I like that volume that it gives, so I'm going to go ahead and pass this on too. Uh, I, of course, I let people know that I've used the mascara <laughs> before I pass it on to them. But as you can see, this one is really wet. This has probably only been in my collection six months, and I just opened it last week. So keep that in mind. I'm not throwing it away. It's, I don't think it's bad yet. Um, the person who I give it to can throw it away if they want to because I understand that it is a little gross to share mascara, but it is what it is. I like to give people full advantage to do what they want. Um, okay. Let's go on to lip products because I did go through my lip product collection again and let me just make sure there's something else in here. And I found a few more things that I can get rid of. I shouldn't sound so happy, but I actually am really excited about this because I know that I'm not going to use these products. So this is a Makeup Forever lipstick. This is in the shade N9. It is just a nice, beautiful rose shade. I'll go ahead and swatch this on my hand. But do you see how sheer that is? Like, look, just one stroke. It's so sheer. It's like a tinted balm. But the big thing for me is the scent. It smells like a Rimmel lipstick. It smells floral. Now, I understand that there is a subsect of people who love this scent. If they didn't love the scent, cosmetics companies would stop putting in the products. But for me, I put it on, I feel like I'm going to gag. So, <laughs> this is going to go. And this is really sad. I just bought this from Sephora. It was when I was here in Germany that I got this. So it wasn't even that long ago. Less than four months. So I'm really sad that that had a scent to it. Because I don't remember in Sephora smelling that scent. So the shade was too sheer and it had a scent. It's going. The other one is this Urban Decay. This is the old, is this the old packaging? No, this is the new packaging, excuse me. In 1993, this is a comfort mat. This is such a beautiful shade. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that beautiful brown. I love it. I think that this is just spectacular shade. Um, my issue with it is I have five other nudes that I want to wear more than this one. Like, I've got five other browns that are so similar to this one that I want to wear those instead. I just do. And so this is, this, this is a good lipstick. There's nothing wrong with 1993. I think it's beautiful when I see people on YouTube wear it, especially if you have a light medium to medium complexion or like a deeper complexion. Oh my god, I think this looks spectacular on you. I just have something so similar that I like better. Okay. Another Urban Decay Vice lipstick. I got this in a Sephora Play before I canceled it. This is in the shade Big Bang. Um, it's brand new, still in the box. This is a hot pink with silver sparkle. Oh my god, absolutely spectacular. I love it. I'm just never going to reach for it. If I worked at Ulta, I would definitely have kept this and worn this, but since I don't work at Ulta anymore and Germans aren't big on hot pink lipstick, <laughs> I'm just going to pass it on while it's still basically brand new. Okay, last lip product, I believe, is this Vinyl Cream Creamy Stain by YSL. 
I bought, I did not buy this. I got this as one of the free codes from Sephora. You know, you buy $25, you get a free code. I got this one. Oh my gosh, is it beautiful. This one's really hard to part with for me. It's a beautiful blue-based red. It's the scent. Oh my gosh, it smells like Play-Doh. And again, I know it doesn't bother people. So I'm gonna pass this on while it's still good. I mean, look at that. How beautiful is that? Like, that was one swipe, full coverage. I'm really sad that didn't work out for me because I think I would have really enjoyed wearing that, but just, just a little something. And what's funny is I just bought a YSL lipstick from Glambot, Glambot, and it has a scent, but that scent doesn't smell like this one. Like that one's like a floral vanilla. I can do vanilla and fruit scents, but it's the floral that gets to me. This one just doesn't have the same scent, so I'm really sad to see that one go. Um, but it is what it is, right? Like that's just, that's the reality of it. Okay. My last makeup item that I'm going to, oh, nope, two. Two makeup items that I'm going to be decluttering. One is this Becca Opal Highlighter. I found this as a duplicate in my collection. Again, I think it came from a Sephora Play Favorites kit. Not a Play, I think it was Sephora Favorites. And look how cute it is. It's got that mirror on one side, opal on the other side. I'm sure you've seen the swatch, but I have another sample of this. So I don't need this one as well. I mean, how often do you hit pan on a highlighter? <laughs> And then the last thing, this is the Mally Shadow Stick. I love these shadow sticks. This is in the shade Jade. It's just a beautiful green. But as I previously discussed in these videos, my blue eyes do not look good in that green. But look at the shine on that. Like, isn't that nice? So I'm going to pass this on to someone who I think will love it and care for it and give it lots and lots of use. All my final items are all brushes. And I was looking at my brush collection, and I had bought five or six brushes from Sigma. And I wanted to see, A, if they were good, well, because everyone on YouTube uses them, and B, I had like a really good deal on them. I had, I think, 25% off, and Ebates was 12% off, or something like that. So I made a purchase, and I'm getting rid of most of them. I don't know if, I don't think the quality's bad, I think their website sucks for picking out brushes. Like, I saw two brushes side by side and I had no idea what the difference was. So I just picked one and ordered that one and it, it's not working out for me. So let's go through Sigma brushes first because I am so sad. I'm going to go ahead and declutter two of them. These two right here. This is the Domed Blending E43. That's what the tip looks like. And... I thought I was gonna love this because I wanted to do just like a nice like blown out crease in here but it's not like it's not fluffy enough for that like it's so dense Ooh, powder is flying it's just so dense so I can place the color but I can't blow it out but I've got hooded eyes I mean look it's so big it like deposits too much I'm just never gonna use this and then this one is the exact opposite issue like, look how tiny that tip is. This is the E36 blending brush. Like, it's so loose in there. And so, again, I bought this to kind of buff out, because I didn't know, I knew these were different, but I didn't, my goal was to get something to blend out here. But here's the problem. It takes so freaking long. Like, I am here for days trying to blend out like any sort of color that is placed in the crease like it takes so long and then if I try and go below the bristles are so long I feel like I'm gonna poke my eye so I don't I'm not happy with those and I spent good money on those like good money on those I just don't know I don't know okay and then I've got an it brush this is by Ulta. I got this, I think, in the spring 21 Days of Beauty. This is what it looks like. I'm sorry, it's dirty. But, like, it's a good medium density. But they say that this is a smoothing foundation brush. 
So I tried to apply my foundation with it, which is not my favorite method. I prefer beauty blenders or Ulta blenders, sponge blenders. And so I tried foundation and then it just, it didn't work for that. It's just like so much product got in between those bristles. So then as you can see, I tried it for blush. And it worked okay for blush. It wasn't horrible, but it, it was, uh, there's just something about the shape that didn't quite work for it. I was like, okay, I'll try it for bronzer. So I was doing bronzer, but it's just, a, it deposited a little too much product for the bronzer. So I had like a really strong shade. <laughs> and then I take another brush and kind of buff it out, but I really just wanted to buff this out. So I just did not find a good use for this because it's too big for highlight. So I'm gonna pass this one on too. I love the quality, again, the quality of these brushes is both Sigma and It Cosmetics are good. I just, I, I guess I'm not artistic enough to figure out how to use this. Um, other ones. Oh, I love these so much. So, <sighs> Walgreens. Last year was doing all sorts of superhero makeup sets. And I saw these Batman brushes and I was like, holla, yes. So I have a dual fiber one that you can use like cream blush on, cream highlighter, whatever. And then there's this blush brush, it's angled. How cute is it? Uh, I just, this is, I just, oh, I wanna keep them because of the packaging. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna keep them because of the packaging. This one is not as good as my e.l.f. small stipple brush. It's just not, it takes so much longer to blend out and it's just not, the quality's just not there on it. Um, not that it's made badly, but it's just, they're just not enough bristles for my particular liking. Um, I also, there's one coming out. This one was actually too dense. That's going to sound weird. But again, with blush, you don't want it super dense like that. You want to give it, you don't want a kabuki for brush, blush. You want like a kabuki brush for foundation. You want it for powder, but for blush, you want something a little bit lighter to put it on so you don't get clown face. And this unfortunately just didn't work for me. And I'm really sad because the packaging is so cute. I love the blue. I love the Batman symbols. And then they had Wonder Woman. Look how cute all the little brushes is. This came with a powder that is still in my collection. And the powder is both like an under eye setting powder and there's a bronzer involved, but this little thing I'm just never going to use. It got lost and I think it's so cute, but it's time for it to go, which I'm super sad about because it, all three of those brushes are really soft, like surprisingly soft. They're just not what I need to do my makeup with. And then three more brushes. This e.l.f. powder brush, flat top. Nice and dense, kabuki style. I just don't ever use these flat top ones. I don't think this is a bad brush. I actually think this is very nice. I just don't use it. Uh, this eyeliner brush is just getting old. It's starting to fray a little bit. I don't know if you can see. So I'm just going to throw this one out. And then the last one is this Moda brush. I got this whole set of this. Um, this size, which is the third largest, I was thinking, oh, it'd be great for highlighter. I think it's made for blush, but I don't ever use it. I don't think I've used this since I did my makeup with it blush the first time. Um, I love the idea of these brushes, but again, it didn't work out for me. So I went through skincare. I went through brushes. I pulled out some more lip products. I'm really excited. I think my collection is really looking good now, and I am thrilled that it's looking really good. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my bare face and bathrobe time with you. Um, no, I'm not wearing any makeup. Yes, this is my bathrobe. And uh, you all liked seemed like last time, so I decided to bring it back. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.